Thank you very much. My, my first proposal will be today that we ask the Supergirl to replace Theresa May in Britain and then we <laughs> go I think she's ready to do it. Yeah? If, you, if you see the mess in the Conservative Party, she can do it better, I think. Yeah. At least she says what is not happening in Downing Street. Yeah. So I, I'm very pleased to be here. And I'm very pleased to be here because it's the first time that I'm coming to a meeting of uh, Polls for Europe. And I have followed you uh, nearly every time, every time where you've got a gathering, a meeting, uh, impressive, and I have to tell you that uh, I think personally that both of Europe have done more for Europe than all political leaders for the moment the last years in Europe. My proposal will be that it is an obligation that they come to your meetings yes. and that then they take the decisions instead of the opposite, don't take the decisions as they do. But I'm here also on a special day, as we heard a, a few moments ago. It's in fact uh, a tragic day, the memorial of the Holocaust. And um, I think we have to pay tribute to all those who, after the Second World War, have created this European idea that some, most, all nationalists and populists want to destroy. And we will never let that happen in the coming years and in the coming decades. Never. If you, normally I'm on Twitter, and I'm not a big fan of retweeting, but today I retweeted one message coming from the other side of the Atlantic. Uh, a piece written by a famous columnist of the New York Times, Mr. Roger Cohen. And he wrote a piece today, I have it here with me. I hope that you can find it later this afternoon on internet. And it's written by an American on the other side of the Atlantic in New York in the New York Times, and the title is Why I am a European Patriot. <laughs> so I thought what is happening, that in the country of Mr. Trump, they are talking about European Patriot. And he is explaining how, as a journalist in 92, he met a prominent uh, actor in Sarajevo during the Balkan War, Mr. Uh, Nermin Tulic, who lost his boat legs in a bomb shelter in Sarajevo on the uh, 10th of June 1992. And he is saying to Rich that if there is one thing and one lesson to be taken from the fact that he lost his legs in this stupid Balkan war in which 100,000 people in 92-93 lost their lives, that is the need to have never the return of nationalism who is promising in fact a bright future based on the past, based on pure illusion, denying the horrifying things that nationalism has done in the past on our country. And uh, he put it, Roger Cohen, against nationalism. Is it patriotism? Patriotism is dignity. Nationalism is barbarism. And to say it in the other words, or the better words of uh, François Mitterrand, François Mitterrand who said, nationalism is war. What we have to do is, we know what nationalism did in the 19th century. War. We know what nationalism did in the 20th century. 
the biggest tragedy that mankind has ever seen. Well, let's never return to nationalism in all century, the 21st century. That is what we gotta stop. So it can be that in the four corners of Europe today, there are like a Brexit action now. Um, they will all, they have all black balloons with a white Brexit uh, label on it, and they will blow it up and let it fly. Okay. It's like losing its way. I'll get a video of that. So if you want to have it, please. For the moment, because Supergirl is here, eh? When Supergirl is here, it disappears. I can tell you one thing. That is that all belief and the strength of the European idea is bigger than ever. Since Brexit, many people know today that it's true that we need to change things in Europe. Europe doesn't work well. Look to the migration crisis. Look to our weaknesses after the financial crisis. Look to our geopolitical weakness that we have. But we know one thing, and Europeans know one thing, that it's true that we have to reform Europe, but it is stupid to leave Europe. That's not the way forward. We need, we need to reform it, and we've got to reform it. Not because everybody believes in it. Not because many of our European leaders believe in it, because many of them are following the rhetoric of nationalism and populism, and it's the worst thing to do. It's an error and a mistake not to make. We're going to reform it because people believe in it. And if people have again a vision for them, for the future of Europe, the passion will return for Europe, and the reform will happen, because we know what the alternative means. We know what it means, certainly here, in this historic place of Berlin, how those who have promised heaven with nationalism and populism have destroyed for a lot and a while humanity in the world. And that is my request to you. Don't give up. What we are doing for the moment is to build up an alliance, an alliance for Europe, of all pro-European movements. Those for Europe, Stand Up for Europe, Alliance for Europe, Civico, Volt who is here. As a counter-movement, a counter-movement against the old right who coming from the other side of the Atlantic has forgotten the history lessons and things that nationalism is the way forward on this continent, not remembering what nationalism has done on this continent. And I ask you one thing, that is to continue the fight, the fight today, the fight tomorrow, the fight next week, the fight next month, the fight next year, and ultimately the European dream will succeed. Thank you. Big success. Thank you.